Hello and welcome back to another video. So, yeah, in today's video, we have a computer that has never been on the internet. Now, where did they get it? Well, shortly after Windows Vista was released, my dad decided to buy himself a PC. He wanted to get into digital photography and printing them himself, which, to be fair, he did do. And he always threatened to get an internet as well, and he never did. Now, this computer runs Windows Vista. And uh, as we all know, Vista had some major incompatibility issues and uh, it was all sorts of, like, there was all sorts of things wrong with it and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into great detail of what was wrong with it because I don't really know the ins and outs of it and stuff like that. But today's video is going to be about powering this thing on. Now, when my dad moved out, it was sort of just left in the corner of his new house and it just got totally forgotten about and I myself actually totally forgot about it as well. It was only a few weeks ago he said to me, can you take something to tip for me and blah, 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 and also get rid of that computer. And I was like, whoa, no, 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 no. That computer's coming with me. That's, going, that's coming home to make a video. So uh, one thing I have noticed on it is it's got some sort of weird HP Pocket Media Drive Bay. Now, there's nothing inside it, and I've had a quick Google, and what I've learned is that it's like some sort of portable hard drive. Um, that's one of the reasons why I want to do a video on it because I've never seen a computer like it in my life. I mean, I think it might be only a HP thing, I don't know. It's got your usual things on the front. It's got a micro SD slot, compact flash, uh, micro SD, and you've also got uh, MS Pro Duo, all memory sticks anyway. CD drive, I think it's a Lightscribe one as well. This one is empty, and you've got on the front two USBs and a headphone jack and a microphone jack. Round the back, you've just got your normal sort of, you know, uh, standard ports from this time. It's not HD, it's VGA, and it's got some sort of optical out port as well on the back. Um, but yeah, so today, I'm gonna just basically just, just turn it on, and I haven't seen what's on this uh, for the last good five or six years. And I think I know what's on it. There's gonna be loads of music because at the time, when my mum was ill and she was sort of housebound, I was putting loads of music on an MP3 player for her. And uh, I think it's gonna be loaded with Beatles, maybe Oasis and stuff like that. Some Pink Floyd, maybe, I don't know. A couple of pictures that were probably took back in the day from 2007 slash eight and stuff like that. Um, now, it's gonna stay in the collection and I have got uh, somewhere, uh, where have I put it now? Oh, it's up here. I've got a bit of an upgrade for it because obviously it's got onboard graphics and um, I was looking on eBay and I've seen this. Now, I believe that they are utter shite, but it's gotta be better than what's inside that. And this is a Zotac GeForce 210 Synergy Edition, one gigabyte of DDR3 memory, physics, Phys X by Nvidia, PCIe 2.0 uh, and a dual link DVI. And it is with, with Wista, Wista, it's Windows Vista and Windows 7 compatible. I think I just bought it on a whim. I think it was about eight quid, maybe, I don't know. Um, but the good thing about it is, um, there's all your stuff there as well. Connectors and unused sorts of things. It is used. Um, I don't even know if it works, to be honest with you. So there it is there. The Zotac. Now one good thing about it is it has a little HDMI port there as well. So DVI and HDMI. So hopefully this computer can be converted from VGA to H uh, HDMI. So in terms of what I'm going to use this computer for, now hopefully I can find some sort of restore point on the computer and I can restore it back to factory settings. Because what I remember anyway is uh, it took quite a while to sort of boot up. And uh, so I'm probably going to look at upgrading the RAM. Uh, possibility of upgrading the processor, because at the moment we have inside uh, an AMD Athlon 64. I don't know what speed, I can't remember what speed it was. I'm guessing it's like 2.6 or something, I don't know. And um, But as well as me having an XP machine now up and running, now if you've watched any of my XP builds uh, lately, this monitor, this brand new monitor, because it's practically brand new, 
is from this computer. All what I'm gonna show you today is original from the computer. So we've got the keyboard, which is original. Now I don't use that no more because I've got this wireless one. And also we have the original mouse as well, which is an optical mouse you can just see just there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep it as a, a Vista machine, a Vista, a Vista gaming machine. I'm gonna upgrade it, sort of like, give it a bit more of a higher spec than what it is. And then I'm gonna get some games, hopefully Vista only games uh, from back in the day. And it's gonna, it, it's not gonna stay next to that one because next to this one is awaiting the other computer that I found. The little sister of this one that I found in the bin is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be next to it. So this is gonna go somewhere. So in today's video, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna turn it on, show you the specs and show you what's on it and then we'll probably do maybe the upgrade a further video or maybe I might do it today. Actually, no, I'll show you today what's inside the machine. So let's get cracking. Right, okay, so cover off and you can see just a little bit of dust, which will require a bit of cleaning. As you can see, the fan there on the processor, there's not much dust on that, so. Yeah, we have two sticks of RAM. Let me see what they are. Just get that one out. We go here. We have uh, one gigabyte. Yeah, so it looks like a two gig, two gig memory and stuff like that. Usual PC sort of things. It's uh, is it is it SATA? Yep, it's SATA. Yeah, so it's all SATA. We haven't got any uh, any of the old connectors and stuff like that. Uh, ID8. Just see. Yeah, here's your hard drive just up. Popping around the back of that cage. Um, there's not much else to say about it really, other than like, I mean, PCs are just basic, aren't they? There's a board, a couple of wires, a processor, power, and that's it. Like, there's not much else to say about it. Um, as I say, I think that this processor is a 2.6, maybe. Uh, oh, just while I'm here, I'll just check out. Now, this uh, this graphics card is PCIe. So, let me just see if that's a PCIe. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. So this port here, this is where the graphics card is going to go. So I'll turn it on and uh, I'll see how it runs without the graphics card. And then um, we'll stick the graphics card in and see what kind of performance we get. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just boot it up. We'll power it up now. See how long it takes to boot up. Now this monitor has inbuilt speakers. I'm not gonna bother connecting it up. I'm gonna use the two speakers that I got. The, uh, the, the cheap gaming speakers that I've used. It just runs, runs a little. It makes things a bit easy to know, but yeah. Um, if I remember rightly, it, it did take not a while to boot up, but it took a fair little bit to sort of boot up. I mean, that XP machine, that boots up like, whew, like it's got an SSD in it. Although it hasn't, you know, it just feels like it has. Come on, any time today. Five minutes later. Still going through the booting up process, should we say? Right, okay. Obviously, I'm a scouser. We are presented with the Beatles crossing Abbey Road. Um, right, okay, so we've got, oh, what's that? Uh, an operation, do, do, do. Uh, I don't know what that means. So we've got the Righteous Brothers. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Still booting up. Still booting up. I'm not going to play any of the music because I'm not going to get a copyright claim. So we've got two Oasis albums here. I do remember at the time, I think my mum liked a little bit of Oasis. Um, oh, it's still up. So we've got the Righteous Brothers, definitely maybe, 
Lots of Story, More and Glory, The Beatles, which is going to be probably every album, I think, in The Beatles. I do remember my dad's mate giving the CD with quite, I think, yeah, Hard Day Fights, Abbey Road, Help, Let It Be, Please Please Me, Revolver, Rubber Soul, I think that's Abbey Soul, you know. The Drifters, uh, something called New Folder, not on it. Uh, Liverpool, which is going to be old Liverpool pictures, maybe, if I remember rightly. Yeah, they're just old pictures of of old Liverpool. Uh, Magical Mystery Tour. Yeah, Beatles Strum Along. Um, what's that one there? Liverpool. Oh, yeah, that's just that one. Um, a couple of pictures that I actually took with me that's camera off. If I remember rightly, that it was a lap wing that was nesting by our way. I'm going back 2000 and... Oh, must have been 8 or 9. There's a little baby lap wing there. So that one there is its mother. And then the little baby there. And quite sadly, I work in a bus garage and it didn't last. I'm going to say that this did not last at all. So we've got, I think we've got quite a few programs that came bundled with the computer. So you've got like a For Your Kids, Microsoft Office for 60 Days, BT Internet Explorer, DVD. I think at the time as well I was doing some DVDs, I was trying to show me dad how to, um, how to make a, a, a CD basically, but you know. I don't think you have a grasp of it, but yeah. What's this one we've got here? Oh, Yellow Submarine. Um, is it? Yeah. So, let's get into specs. Now, where is the computer? Properties. Right, okay, so we have manufacturer Hewlett Packard. Uh, we have AMD Athlon 64 times 2 dual core processor 44 plus 2.3 gigahertz and the RAM is just under 2 gig. Operating system is 32 bit uh, and it's George PC, which is my dad's name, same as mine. Um, graphics, so if we go to device manager and we go to display adapters and we have an NVIDIA GeForce 6150 SE Enforce 430 uh, so it's an it's an inbuilt graphics card so I'm assuming what I've got there at that Zotac is going to be quite a lot of, well quite quite a lot better to be honest with you um, now in terms of games what games I've got I've got loads of XP games which I'm assuming will run uh, some will run on XP I don't know but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the computer off. I'm going to install the said graphics card. And I'm going to take it from there and see what we end up with. Because if I can get this HD, happy days. But it's, it's got a nice picture you know, as it is. So it's not going to be uh, a major issue, I don't think, if I don't get HD. Because I say it's going to stay in the collection. And it's going to become a Vista. I'm going to try and get it to maybe a, a high-end gaming PC, a Vista gaming PC from back in the day, but judging by the processor, I don't know, I'll see what's available for upgrades and stuff like that for the processor, but at the minute, all I want to do is upgrade the graphics, so um, I don't think there's anything else much to show you. Uh, I've got a control panel here from NVIDIA, as you always do. So, uh, it looks like it's a 3D one as well, so let the application decide. Uh, manage 3D settings, so it's not going to be the world's best. I mean, you know, back when my dad bought it, he, he didn't didn't really know what he was buying. So, and I can't remember how much it cost. I'm going to have a guess and say 600. I, I don't know. That's just a that's just a guess. So, uh, you know, and as we know, I can't even upgrade it now anyway. As in, like software-wise, because I think it was it 2021. I might be wrong when Microsoft stopped uh, support for Windows Vista, or was it, it was earlier than that, I'm not sure, but anyway, so 
I was kind of open to pull it into the internet. I plug it into the internet and if the support center was still active, it might have said, would you like to upgrade to whatever? So I think if I want to put another Windows on this, I'm probably looking at around about um, maybe Windows 7 at a push. I think, and I think anything after that, I don't think I'll be able to put on it. But you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you upgrade the, the processor and stuff like that, I may do. So what we're going to do, I'm going to switch it off. I'm going to install the said graphics card, and we're going to take it from there, and we're going to see what sort of um, thing you'll be getting. Nighty ho. So, if I remember rightly, you just pop the back. Is it pop the back port out or is it a clip? Um, let me see. Get some skizzers on that. Yeah, it's the clip. So, any PC purists are probably watching now thinking, where's your anti static band? But, you know, in all honesty, I've never used one over the years. I've never had a bloody problem. I think I've just done that the wrong way and I just ripped out. Um, how does that come out? It looks like. Oh, I see what I've done. I see what I've done. I'll be right back. I've just fucked something up here. Right, silly me. There's a retaining sort of clip. So I've just pulled out all that. Which is not a problem, I can get it back in, not a problem. So, yeah, there's a bit of a bit of a retainer there that just slides, and I can see it on camera. Oh yeah, it's come off, and it just, whatever you put in, card-wise, locks it in place, so. Apologies for that computer, it will not happen again. So here we go with the old Zotac. Now, I know people have said this is shite, like, but I mean, I don't know where. Uh, it's got to be better than what's on board, surely. As I say, it was it was listed as working on eBay and stuff like that, and um, you know, pff, whatever sound. So where do we go with this? Uh, I think I might need, by the looks of it. No, I don't. I thought I might have needed another little bracket there, but um, see, originally I thought it was AGP, but. Oh, hang on, I see. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to use the. Uh, I'm gonna need to use by the looks of it. Let's have a look. That bracket, the one that's on that is too small. So, give me a minute and I shall be right back. Right, so there we go. A nice new bracket on it. One thing I didn't check, and I should have checked before I probably started filming this video is how much power this graphics card requires. Um, it doesn't actually, oh hang on, does it say? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Oh yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. So, uh, minimum system requirements, PCIe, uh, PCI Express, Type 60, so minimum 300 watt or greater. Uh, with a minimum 12 volt current rating. Now I've had a quick look on this and it says power output cars exceed 268 watts. So we may run into a couple of problems, uh, but I'm prepared to install it and give it a shot. So let's get this uh, little Zotac in. Hopefully I haven't damaged that thing too much. Right, let's push. Get that clip back there. And oh no, let me get this down. It'd be better for doing that actually. Alright, that's better. There we go. Slot, slot in. Lock. And there we go. The Zotac is in place. Right, I'm not going to screw it in just yet because it may not work, as you can see there, just at the back of the computer. There it is installed, and there it is, do you see it there, just installed as well. So, it's just as well actually that the, the bracket was, you know, sort of, it came with the bracket like. I think I've actually wrecked. No, I haven't, so it's alright, that's it's, it's quite nice. Do you know what, for the purpose of the video, we're going to lock it back into place, sorry. You know. 
Let's get this back in there with me screwy. So if this does work, I mean, you know, be happy days. Happy days. There we go. All locked, locked. Happy days, let's get this turned on. Right, so I've powered on the PC and I have a blank screen. Now, I think, I do think it requires a little bit more power than what's inside it. So I'm going to have another little fiddle with it. Uh, it hasn't got, as you've seen, a VGA output on the back. So I've had to use the DVI uh, to VGA adapter. And um, yeah, I'm getting nothing on the screen. Um, I've heard sounds of it booting up and stuff like that, so it, it is working, I've just got nothing on the screen, so not to worry, uh, as I say, today's video was just to power on and show you what the machine is, to be honest with you, so uh, this graphics card installation was a bit of a bonus, if you like, so um, I'm going to have another little fiddle, and then if not, that's it, video ends. Yeah, so I, I persevered with it, and it is not working, so it's neither A, broke, well, it's not working. I've had it for a while, so I can't even send it back. Um, or it's just incompatibility issues with the computer. Because I left it in and I plugged everything back in as it should. I plugged the VGA cable back into the VGA port at the back. Still got nothing on screen, so there was some sort of issue there. But as I say, not a huge issue. It was just it was a cheap graphics card, bought on a whim. And I'm going to try it in another one as well. I think I'll probably try it, maybe, in the XP build, because that's... Um, that's PCIe 16 as well, so yeah, you know, whatever, you know, so. And I've just found as well, on the boot up on this computer, uh, there is a recovery partition as well, so I'm just gonna double check with me dad that he doesn't want nothing off it, because it's only music on there and stuff like that. There's no sort of any documents or what have you, so, you know, and I'm just gonna wipe it and give it a fresh sort of like install of Vista and, uh, as I say, in further videos, uh, after this video, I'm going to clean it up anyway and um, give it a restore and then probably look into more detail of, of what sort of graphics card I can get. Gaming-wise, um, it has got installed, uh, and I'll just show you. Tomb Raider 2, got other games as well. Um, in fact, you know what I'll do before I go? Before I go, I'm going to install Quake 3 Arena. Yeah, because Quake 3 Arena runs absolutely beautifully on the uh, on the XP build. And I'm going to see what it runs like. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut here, I'm going to install it, and I'll see how it runs on this. Right, okay, so it's installed. Now, I'm running Quake 3 because as I say on the XP build, it runs amazing with that 850 Quadro effects card. It runs beautiful, so. Oh. There we go. Let's see if. Um... Intro wise, I think it looks the same as the XP build. I mean, it runs that quite well, so we'll skip that. Oh, the CD key. Um, this key appears to be valid. Thank you. Right, okay, accept. Uh, single player. Now, looking at that straight off the bat, that runs quite nice, nice and smooth. So this graphics card inside, it could be decent, not the best, but decent. Now, if it plays this, sort of like smoothly and nicely, I will be quite happy to be honest with you. Uh, I can win and fight. Right, okay. Welcome to Quake 3 Arena. Uh, Enter the portal to begin combat. Jump here to reach the armor. Okay. Not crash. Um, graphically, I don't think it's as clear as my XP build. Uh, I might be wrong. Oh, 
I don't know. I, I'm sure the XP builds a little bit clearer. Let's see how it runs anyway. Let's get the plasma gun. Might be a bit loud this when I start shooting. I mean, it runs well, in all honesty. It runs well. I'm quite happy with it. Quite happy with the way it runs. See you later. to uh, that one uh, again I'm not going to bother just just want to show you showcase it yeah I think in all honesty I think my XP build has got slightly clearer graphics I mean it runs quite well it's nice and smooth just the XP build I think has got the edge someone's in the water well oh. hello cracking game this quake 2 quake 3 I mean, all the quakes, apart from one, but I didn't really like one. But, yeah, it runs, it runs well. Quite happy with that. Yep, happy with that. Right, that's enough for me. Right, okay, so as you've seen there, it runs Quake 3 Arena quite well in my opinion. As I say, I'm going to look at upgrades and stuff like that, but at the minute I'm just going to give it a clean, a fresh install of Vista, and we'll take it from there. So, as always, folks, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Chewie!